Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. So today's video was actually gonna be a get ready with me, but then I got through filming and I realized my microphone wasn't on and I was like, you know what? It's not the end of the world. This was a very basic look anyways. I will literally tell you what shadows I used once I get into this like swatch party. Um, but I was like, you know what? I can just wear this look and I'll do a little Terra Moon swatch party on the shadows that I got because I'm really excited about them and I think you will be too. We can just chat about sparkly, pretty shiny things. I will of course have all of my makeup details in the description box. It is a rare day when I don't have like a tutorial for a look that I have on camera, but this was a very basic one. It's not a big deal and I will tell you which shadows I use and talk about how I applied them once I get to the shadows that I used. If that makes sense, because I use these shadows and only these shadows for this look anyways. So yeah, this is going to be a swatch party with my recent Terra Moons shadow order. I ordered eight shadows and the brand was actually so kind and sent me five additional ones and an empty palette, so that was really sweet of them. I'm very excited about all of these. I'm definitely gonna be playing with them and I'm just excited to get into it. Before we do though, let me just give you my jewelry details. This choker is from Shop Sun Co. You can use my affiliate code BattyBean for 10% off. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and do some swatches. So this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. I just love this spooky, cloudy aesthetic. It's gorgeous. I'm so happy that they sent me this empty palette. It's so pretty. And then these are my shadows. The entire top row and these three are the ones that I bought and then these two and these three are the ones that they sent me. Um, they're so pretty. I'm really excited to get into it. I'll actually pull up Terra Moon's website so I can also kind of tell you which shadow is which type of shadow, you know? Cause there's like chameleons and multi-chromes and duochromes and all the things. I'm gonna scoot over here so I can make room for some swatches. I'll do a close up of all the swatches at the end. Um, we're gonna get into it. The first shade is called Beyond Apollo. All right, it's right here, Beyond Apollo. It's so pretty. It's actually what I have as my like outer corner shade. I just kind of smoked it on there. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just start down here so I can make sure I have room to fit everything. It is such a pretty duochrome. Do you see that? It's so sparkly and shifty and magical. This next one is called Fortune Teller and this is one of their multi-chromes. Oh, and it's so pretty. I bought a couple of their multi-chromes earlier in the year and I knew I wanted to get another one. It's just so pretty. It's this lovely kind of blue purpley sort of shift. Oh, it's so good. I'm excited to do the close-ups of all these at the end. The next one I got is another multi-chrome. This is Head Rush. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty just kind of magenta, orange, yellow, green. It's so unique and so cool. This next one is Midnight Winter. It's one of their chameleon shadows. It has like a black base to it. It's kind of like purpley, bluey, greeny. It's so deep and so magical. I love this one. Next is Moontide. This is another chameleon and that's what's on the remainder part of my lid. So it's Beyond Apollo into Moontide. Um, it's so pretty. I was so excited about this one as well. Oh my gosh. It's just, look at this. It's so bright and shifty. It just kind of has like bluey, lavender, almost pinky, silvery. Oh my gosh. This is potentially my favorite one that I picked up. It's so good. There's another one that's really good though that they sent me. Next is another chameleon. This one is called Radiation. It is such a beautiful bright green. It's so incredibly bright and it kind of shifts like goldy and almost teal depending on how the light hits it. I love Terra Moon shadows. I'm so excited that I got more of them. Next is a duochrome. This one is called Snow Globe. It's really pretty and I accidentally almost threw this one away because I had a lot of packaging to go through and this one almost got lost in translation. But look at it. It's just this beautiful iridescent that's kind of bluey greeny. Pure magic, pure sparkle. And the last one of the ones that I bought myself is UFO. This is another one of the chameleons. I didn't realize I bought so many chameleons. I wasn't like dead set on any specific formula. I was just kind of going through and seeing what was in stock and what I wanted to try the most. But UFO is so cool. Just that beautiful kind of pinky purpley shift. It's so bright and jewel toned. It's mouthwatering. So now these next five are ones that they just included in my order, which was so sweet. And they were ones that I didn't already own, I think. <laughs> I checked, I think I'm right. This one is called Chasing Comments and I actually really liked this one so I'm really happy that they sent it to me. So I was debating getting this one. This is another one of the chameleon shadows. And my goodness, is that amazing. It's kind of like bluey, pinky, purpley. Oh, it's so magical. These next two are ones that are literally not on their website so I don't know what's going on with that but this one is called Journey to Neptune. 
It appears to be like mostly a matte, oops, I'm getting dust everywhere, mostly a matte with a little bit of sparkle pressed into it. It's a really pretty shade of blue. I don't really know what to make of it though, especially because it's not on the website. And same with this one, it's called Star Catcher. It appears to just be mostly like a purple matte with a little bit of sparkle pressed in it. Like they're cute shades, but I just don't really know what to think of them. <laughs> Um, they're cute. I do like the little bit of twinkle that's in them because it's not like one of those sequin shadows where it's like specks of glitter. It's just kind of really mixed in really nicely. I don't know. They're really pretty shades though, so I'm not complaining. I'm very confused that they're not on the website though and they were sent to me anyway. Maybe there's something that's coming soon. Maybe there's something that was discontinued and they're just trying to like get rid of stuff. I don't know. Next is another chameleon. This one is called Shattered Stars and my goodness, this one's also so pretty. I actually used this as my inner corner highlight today. It's kind of like a light blue that kind of has like a silvery sea foamy kind of shift. It's really pretty and it has such a bright flash to it. And this last one, I swear I saved the best for last. They sent me one of their multi-chromes. This one is in the shade The Cosmos and it's amazing. It's a little bit of a chunkier formula, um, but my gosh, just wait, your breath is going to be stolen. Do you see how bright that is? It's kind of like pink, blue, tealy. It's so cool. I'm so over the moon that they sent me this shade because it's everything. I almost wore it today, but I really wanted to use some of my other ones first. That one is just like a winter wonderland. It is so cool. So I'm gonna read these in order for you with the swatches overlaying it. We have Beyond Apollo, Fortune Teller, Head Rush, Midnight Winter, Moon Tide, Radiation, Snow Globe, UFO, Chasing Comets, Journey to Neptune, Star Catcher, Shattered Stars, and The Cosmos. I'm so excited about all of these. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this wasn't totally like my plan for today, but I think it was still fun to do. I hope it was interesting. I'm not someone that collects single shadows like this in bulk very often, but on the occasion that I do, if you'd like to see more like swatch party style videos, let me know. I do plan on using these going forward. I want to incorporate them with my palettes and use them in Instagram videos and things like that. Might even use one or two of these in my DIY January themed palette coming soon because I do want to start that series. You guys seemed really excited about me doing that series in 2022. So just stay tuned. It's going to be really exciting. I would love to know what your favorite Terra Moon's shadows are. Please let me know down below. Do you love any of the ones that I have right now? Do you have your eye on any? I would love to just chat about them down below. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me just like some sparkly star emojis because I feel like that represents the brand very well. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything. I post every day on Instagram and I'm pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, I'm posting most days over here. I think today actually concludes my Bean Miss series because it's Christmas Eve, I think, when this video is getting uploaded. So going forward, I'll just be going back to most days, which I'm still here very frequently. And I'm just excited to just get into a new chapter, a new year. And I'm not taking like a big break or anything now that the series is over. I'm just taking a day off and then I'll be back to your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.